Well, hello, everyone. It's Monday, May 22nd, 2023. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Andrea Bryant writes, how about starting with boast? Ah, hopefully we'll be able to boast of a fantastic solve today. Let's see what we've got. Boast gets us in O in position. All right, I'll take it. We've got a little something there. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll go ahead and try and find another great uh, evaluation word. And hopefully we'll get an O in there. Yeah, we'll put an O in that. Uh, let's see. Looking at my unused letters. Hmm, what would be an interesting choice? How about... I don't like O's in the beginning. Maybe O in the middle. Uh, how about wrong? Wrong would get us four really nice letters. And we'll move that O around. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with wrong here. All right, uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word wrong? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, we picked up a G. So now we have an OG here uh, on the board. Of course, continuing to be out of position. Uh, all right, let's see. Hmm, boy, this is tricky when I'm trying to think of words with the, uh, the O in the second or third spot. Again, I, I'm just obstinate. I can't put it in the beginning. Um, and then there's that G going in there. Hmm. That gets it a little bit, uh, tricky. Part of me is almost thinking of just going with a, a full five letter eval here to get more intel. Um, oh man. Yeah. The O towards the, I, I'm, I'm going to assume the O is in the fourth spot, or at least that's where I like it to be, but I'm not coming up with anything good here. Um, yeah, I think maybe maybe it'll help me if I just get another eval. Now we have E and U and I as vowels. Um, I would probably want at least one of those letters, indeed. Um, and there's a bunch of good consonants, too. How about, um, hmm, how about the word child? Child will get us one of the vowels and four really solid consonants. Uh, I think if I could just get something else lit up, that might put us in a good position. So I'm going to go with that. Let's go with child. See if we can get anything here. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, nothing in green yet, but now we have four letters. Uh, I, L, G, and O. Okay. Um, huh. Well, that makes it even more interesting to me. So, hmm. Again, I keep wanting that O in the fourth spot. Uh, what would we do with the I? I don't think the I and the O are going to be together. Funny feeling, I don't think they're going to be together. So let's see. If we start with the G, um, I, something O, G-I-L-O, no. G-I blank O-L, no. No, no, that doesn't work. What if I put the L here in the front? L I blank O L I G O? No. That doesn't work either. L I L I O G doesn't work. Hmm. I like the word lingo so much here, but we know that the I keep coming up with lingo. I mean, it's unique. It fits. But, of course, that pesky N, we tested it in wrong. So, we know, it can't be lingo. But, boy, I'm having a rough time figuring out what else could possibly be going on here. Huh. Part of me wants to... See, here's what part of me wants to do. Knowing it's just for eval, part of me wants to put in lingo. Hoping that I get some green... We're gonna we're gonna be close to the answer to O if it's not right. Um, I feel like you got to get at least some green if you tested it here, um, and maybe that'll help me illuminate in my in my brain what we're supposed to be doing here. Very tricky these letters. I'm looking through the unused consonants, I can't see anything that like complements them. I don't I don't see any letters on the board complementing these. Um, so yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a tricky one. I'm going to put lingo in 
for eval. I know it's not correct because we've got the n evaluated from wrong, but I'm hoping I can get some some enough position information uh, to jog my memory. This is probably one of those games we we see this sometimes where I'm the last guy in the room to figure it out. Uh, but let's see what happens. Lingo for eval. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we have an O, and it's at the end. Oh, <laughs> we have to figure out something with the O at the end. Uh, and the other position information not working. L, interestingly, not in front. I, but G, uh, so in this scenario, if it's G, the I has to be in the fourth spot. This does not work for me, I'm afraid. Uh, G, L, blank, I, O, G, blank, L, I, O. So it's not G. So unless the, un the unknown uh, letter is in the front, that means I is in the front, in which case the G has to be in the second or the third spot. So if it's in the second spot, blank, blank, O. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, indeed. And by that, I mean a double O. Oh, I'm... I feel I feel cold. <laughs> I feel like I was super cold until the igloo came into my brain. I've I've never lived in an igloo. I'm not an igloo guy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. All right, I'm a hundred percent sure we've got it here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go through this. Everyone, you know how this goes. Say it along with me. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word igloo? Yes, it is. There you go. All right. Uh, well, Andrea, thank you so much for that suggestion. That was a wacky puzzle. I just couldn't. I couldn't get an igloo in my head. <laughs> but I'm glad I kind of redid the letters for that one, uh, and we got there in the end. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate uh, everyone coming by, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.